ACC bound Charlotte fired their head coach, uh, Will Hilly. It looks like uh, he was in his fourth seasons with the 49ers, uh, who are at one for seven for following their 34-15 loss Saturday at home, uh, losing against Florida International. It looks like uh, Charlotte right now, they are a member of the Conference USA, and they're looking to join ACC in the 23-24 season. So this could be good going in, especially when you're getting ready to switch into a new conference next year. Uh, Mike, what's your thoughts on this? Man, uh, it's all about who you're, who you're going to get, man. You know, some of these people are firing their coaches and – you know, it just keeps bringing me up to, like, the Nebraska thing, you know? Like, you know, you you, you think you're getting somebody who's going to be an upgrade and your program's probably worse, you know? And then you're going to be moving up a level, you know, uh, going to the AAC. So, I mean, we're going to have to see how it shakes out, man. I thought Charlotte had a nice little program, you know, that they were starting to build. but um, Sometimes these drastic moves. And then here's another thing is like you have to get a coach who can adjust to NIL and the transfer portal because if you get a player and he's producing, right, and he's a junior or a sophomore, you have to already expect that he's not going to be there. So are you getting a coach who's known for developing football players? Because that's what's going to be key is development. Right, right. My thing is um, you have that negative record hanging over your head, man. I think he had about one winning season. He was seven and six. Everyone felt good. Was, I think it was back in 2019, and, and that's when they started bidding for a bigger conference. He was he was winning about he, – he, he had the most wins in the conference that year with, with uh, like seven and six or something like that. But now – Moving into a bigger conference, man, his record was 15 and 24. I think you got to go out there and get somebody better. When you got guys like Dion that's willing to go to HBCU, I think you can get another startup coach at a school like Charlotte while they're for moving into a bigger conference for their first year. I think you can get another big-name coach, a guy who's just starting to coach and, and get more wins than 15 and 24. So when you're under that 500 mark, man, it's just a hard – Hard pill to swallow, man. I think it was right timing for it, though. I, I honestly think it was the right time for that move. Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like we're going to definitely see some more coaching shakeup as the season progresses. 